ITV News has uncovered new evidence that many of the sub-postmasters caught up in the Horizon IT scandal did not even get the backing of their own union. The evidence comes in documents we've seen and in what whistleblowers have told us. Now, these suggest the union, the National Federation for Sub-Postmasters, didn't support their wrongly accused members right up until the postmasters won a High Court case in 2019. Until that point, it had never publicly criticised the Horizon computer system. Nick Wallace has our exclusive report. An executive officer of the National Federation for Sub-Postmasters. <laughs> Mention the National Federation of Sub-Postmasters to some campaigners and you might get an angry reaction. The Federation, you know that the Federation sent me back my membership fee, said they wouldn't represent me. They told me to get a good criminal lawyer and that was the last I heard of them. Of a so-called union has been in bed with the post office for years. Former Bridlington Sub-Postmaster Lee Castleton confirmed to ITV News that when he asked, the NFSP refused to help the application form and the actual postal orders for the uh, year's subs were sent back to me with no message, no letter, no nothing. And we can see down there it says October 2009. Yeah. I showed Lee a document sent to ITV News, minutes of a 2009 executive committee meeting. Lee's case and wider Horizon problems were being discussed. Horizon, it says. Yep. According to the minutes, the NFSP's then General Secretary, George Thompson, told the meeting that the Federation had to be very careful about Horizon. Thompson said that if the post office's corporate customers believed the system was error-ridden, they would be reluctant to do business at a time when the contracts were desperately needed. Helen Baker ran a post office in Battle in East Sussex. It's now a charity shop. She was elected onto the NFSP's executive committee in 2013. So we've just got a little set up here. This is the first time Helen has spoken about her experience. She says she raised the issue of Horizon's reliability at her very first meeting. I said, what is going on? What do we know about this? What are we going to do about it? And I was immediately shut down and said, that's not on the agenda. That's not what we're talking about. There's, you know, there's, it's, it's a whole load of nonsense, just people trying to, you know, blame Horizon for mistakes they've made, all their staff's made. and Who then, said that then? That was George Thompson. By 2015, more than 700 previously blameless sub-postmasters had been convicted using evidence from the Horizon system. MPs launched a parliamentary investigation. George Thompson listened to campaigner Alan Bates' concerns about Horizon and dismissed them. We have to be careful. We're not creating a cottage industry that damages the brand, that makes clients like the DWP and um, the DVLA to think twice. I'll kick the post office up the backside when they deserve it, but on horizon, <laughs> they've done nothing wrong. George Thompson stood down from the NFSP in 2017. He's refused all requests for interviews about the horizon scandals since. We caught up with him to get some answers. Do you have a policy of not helping sub-postmasters having problems with horizon? Absolutely not. We had no problem. We help members all the way through Horizon, and I'll be giving all my comments at the exhibition on the 20th. I understand that. Just one second. Did, could you explain to me why you never publicly criticised Horizon? <laughs> Mr. Thompson? We never publicly criticised that Horizon had systemic problems. Yeah. It didn't have systemic problems, but we were not aware that. The back door, if you went through the back door by, by engineers, the post office denied that to me on many, many occasions. But, but I'll give all this information. I know, I understand that, but why didn't you listen to your members who were having problems? Why did you listen to the post office? Why did you believe the post office over your members? The vast majority of members didn't have problems with it, but I'll be giving all this information to the inquiry on, I think, the 21st of June. Thank you you said it was about now. protecting the brand. The NFSP didn't make any statements supporting the campaigning sub-postmasters until after their victory at the High Court in 2019. Helen Baker believes George Thompson should have done more. He could have stopped it. He knew. He was given information. All he had to do was, was say stop. All he had to do was investigate.
George Thompson and the Federation needs to step up and realise exactly where they fail all of the victims. The vast majority of members didn't have... It's hoped Mr Thompson's evidence during the next phase of the public inquiry will shed more light on what he knew and the decisions he took whilst leading the NFSP. I thought I couldn't be any more shocked by this story, but guess what, I am. Um, what's the Federation saying then? Well, the NFSP didn't make anyone available for interview, saying that they have ongoing obligations to the current public inquiry into the post office scandal. Uh, but they did say that they cannot speak directly as to what previous Federation officers said or did. Now, on Lee Castleton, the Federation said that he applied to join the NFSP after the termination of his contract by the post office. However, the NFSP accepts a fuller explanation as to why his membership application could not be accepted, should have been given, and we're sorry that it was not. Now, interestingly, Sir Davey, who we saw earlier launching his uh, local election campaign, was asked about his interactions with the NFSP because he was posted affairs minister when a lot of this was going on. And he said uh, that the NFSP backed the post office, saying to him directly that there was no remote access to Horizon and no problem. And when Sir Ed was asked if the NFSP hadn't done enough to support its members, he said it appears so. And so it goes on. Nick Wallace, thank you.